All right, we are now ready to start the NC State press conference. I'd remind you again that the locker rooms are now open uh, for NC State. Tennessee's locker room will be open when they come up here. Uh, there's no flash photography, no videotaping. Make sure your phones are on mute. If you have a question, please raise your hand and wait for a microphone to come to you. Um, at this time, we'd like to ask Coach Moore to make an opening statement. Yeah, I'm just really proud of these young ladies. Uh, you know, after jumping out to the uh, a nice lead at halftime. You know, I thought we played extremely well that first half, and but we knew they were going to make a run. And uh, you know, they got so much talent. They're so well prepared and well coached that uh, we knew you know it was going to be a battle. And after they made the run, these young ladies somehow found the grit and competitiveness <laughs> to uh, find a way to get it done. So really proud of them. We've come a long way. Uh, when you get to this point, it's a, it's a great accomplishment. Uh, we're going to enjoy it for a day or two, and then uh, obviously you get greedy and try to get a little bit more. But uh, really proud of the plays, in particular these two made all night long. Uh, they stepped up big time. They're, again, they worked hard all summer, and, and now they're enjoying the fruits of their labor, and, and our team is as well. So uh, great team win, but uh, obviously these two played really well. All right, thank you, Coach. At this time, we'll open the floor up for questions for the student athletes. Once again, questions for student athletes only. Let's start with Aaron up here. Yeah, this is oh, Aaron, wait for the microphone, please. Sorry. This is for both of you. Just kind of when it got down to two points after you'd been up 20, kind of what was going through your mind at that point? And as I, you obviously hit a couple of big baskets in response to that, but kind of walk me through for both of you what those moments were like in trying to wrestle control back. Isaiah, could you go first, please? <laughs> You know, just just keeping your head up. You know, it don't matter. Like you, like you said, we was uh, two two points up, and we came to our huddle and was like, "Don't give up. Just keep your head up. Keep pushing." That's what we did. Sanaya, do you have anything to add? Yeah, uh, I think we knew it was a possibility. We watched the game when they played South Carolina, and they came back from like a mm -hmm. 20-point deficit. So we didn't want it to happen, but it happened. And we, like she said, we just kept our head up, stayed together. Uh, as a point guard, I tried to make sure that we stayed composed um, at the end, and I think it worked well for us in the end. Questions for the student athletes? Let's go in the middle there. Oh, this is for both players. I felt like all the guards, you guys made a conservative effort to drive to the rim. Was that you just want to be more physical with them uh, in the paint? Sanaya, can you go first? Uh, absolutely. We always want to be aggressive. Uh, Coach Moore really emphasizes touching the paint, whether it's we're hitting the post or whether it's the guards attacking. Um, sometimes we get the uh, layup, sometimes we have to kick. Um, I think both options were there for us tonight. Uh, I think we our three ball looked pretty decent, but I got a couple of layups in there. I was It's, it's hard going in there against those trees in there, you know, tomorrow key, but you got to go in there with confidence, just put your head down and go. So. Yeah, I agree with Naya. Same thing. Coach Moore emphasized on just attacking them uh, more. Mm -hmm. Any other questions for the student athletes? Let's go there and then we'll get Lindsay. Yeah, Mitchell Northam, uh, WUNC. Sanaya, um, you kind of right there at the end of the game had that big key block, mm -hmm. sort of took the ball and took off running, got fouled, and saw the smile grow across your face, <laughs> kind of clinching in that moment. What was going through your head? It felt good. I, I knew she was about to shoot it. Before she even caught the ball, I knew she was going <laughs> to shoot it. Um, <laughs> and they were just going to have to call a foul, but I knew I was going to get it clean. It felt good, and I knew they were going to foul me, but it would have been nice to go down there, maybe get a dunk if Coach Moore would have gave me to go ahead. <laughs> but, yeah, no, no, I see how you're looking at me. <laughs> All right, let's go to Lindsay. As I, the way you use the backboard is so unique. How – how did that develop? Have you always used the backboard in that way? You know, just in the summer, just working on it, um, just day in, day out, just keep going, reps and reps, and it just turned out good for me at the end. I mean, this game. Sorry. <laughs> All the time. All, All the, the time. time. <laughs> All right. Lindsay, do you have another question? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Lindsay. Just after the disappointment of last season, how much more does this mean to you now to get to the Sweet 16 after having experienced – not making it. <laughs> uh, Sanaya, could you go first? It feels good because last year was it was ugly. It wasn't fun. Uh, this year has been so much fun since the first game. And being able to go to the Sweet 16 with my girls, it feels amazing. I haven't been here since my freshman year of college. And actually feeling like I'm a part of it this time just really means the world to me. So can't wait. I'm excited. Isaiah, do you have anything to add? Definitely. Um, the way we came together and 
the be- beginning of the season, we we told ourselves we didn't want the same thing to happen like last year. You know, yeah. uh, we work hard for this, and like Coach Moore said, uh, it's coming right now for us. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Sully, let's just go on the edge there. How do you guys complement each other as a tandem, just in this game and in general? Isaiah, I think it's your turn. Like me and Sanaya or the team? Just me and Sanaya? You know, we, we always come together. You know, we always say – Look, I, we got each other back. Mm-hmm. You know, if you mess up, I got you. If I mess up, she got me. So it, it's like that. Sanaya, so could you add something? I'm telling you, I don't know what I would do without Sasha in my ears. Like, we probably hug at least three times a game. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's always going to be a point I get in my head, and I got to get out of that, especially being the point guard. But she's always there. Uh, those free throws when I was going, like, one for two um, in the stretch there, she was in my ear like, come on, we just need one. Uh, me, me too. But definitely Zaza, she's, she's always in my ear, and I appreciate her very much. Any other questions for the student athletes? Let's go over here on the side to Brian. Brian Pearl, Pack Pride. This is for either of y'all. Have you ever been to Portland before? No. This is my first time. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. I was actually supposed to go when I played AAU, but COVID hit. So I'm, I'm really excited. Hopefully, Coach lets us go to the Nike outlet. I'm, I'm really <laughs> no. excited. I mean, the Adidas. No. Oh, Adidas. Adidas. I'm sorry. Adidas, Adidas outlet. Adidas, sorry. <laughs> Maybe maybe just I window shop you, and Nike. I maybe we'll go to the Adidas outlet. We'll go to the Adidas outlet. <laughs> we won't go to the other outlet. Yeah. <laughs> it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. <laughs> All right. Any other questions for the student athletes? Let's go up front here. Thank you. This is for other player. Uh, Zoe Brooks played uh, nearly half an hour of court time tonight, 16 points. Six boards, two uh, assists. Obviously, she's been showing out all year, but just talk about her growth as a freshman to help get y'all to this point. Isaiah, could you take that? Y'all seen a freshman? <laughs> I ain't seen no freshman out there. That that wasn't a freshman. She stepped up. She did what she's supposed to do, and she got us our points, our baskets, and a, and a good look. So that wasn't a freshman out there. Um, okay. Yeah, no, she definitely wasn't a freshman tonight. Uh, I think – Zoe has grown more mentally this year. You know, of course, she's going to score. She's going to do things for the team. But just mentally being able to lock in when things aren't going her way, I feel like she's definitely improving slowly but surely. So hopefully her mental continues to grow so that she can continue to scratch the surface for, you know, skill-wise. So. Yep. Any other questions for the student athletes? Okay, ladies, once again, congratulations. Thank you very much. Seven Good luck in Portland. Zero turnovers. Yeah. Two yeah. Hey, 12 assists, four turnovers. Love it. Good night. Love it here. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank y'all. But go to that 830 class in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at this time, we'll open up for questions for Coach Moore. Let's go back up front here. Coach, third time in – School history where both the men's team and the women's team uh, reached the Sweet 16. Not I, quite. Not quite. It's, but it's been since, I think, 89 is what I was told, and it's, it had happened twice before. But 89, so right. neither one of us were alive in 89, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you made the trip to D.C. to support Kevin Keats in the conference tournament. Kevin Keats is here tonight. Talk about not only the – achievement that both teams have made but the support that both programs have for each other yeah you know our players uh players on both sides really uh are are good friends tight and coach Keats and I I mean I love the guy I mean I'm so happy for him uh he you know he's just uh even with all this success he comes to our game tonight and He's, uh, you know, he called me at 8 o'clock this morning, you know, which I really wasn't ready for. But uh, when it's Coach Keeks, you answer, you know. Uh, but uh, so happy for both. I mean, they have been on an unbelievable run. I've enjoyed it so much. Uh, you know, we stayed over here at the State View, and we had a little meeting room in the back. And, we, of course, we're watching the game, their game. We're going to watch film as soon as it was over. The bar was right in front of us. Well, we were streaming, so they would go wild in the bar, and then we were like, okay, something good's happening. Uh, but it was a lot of fun, and uh, let's keep it going. Okay, let's get Brian on the edge, and then we'll get Aaron. Hey, Coach. I touched a little bit of the players did about on Zoe Brooks and how she just really stepped. But uh, her and Maddie Cox also had some good yeah, minutes in the quarter. Well. That three to go into the half, some good defense yeah. on Jackson. Just talk about yeah. how the freshmen stepped up today. Yeah, no doubt. You know, uh, obviously, Zoe's been – doing a lot uh, for us all year long. But, uh, you know, again, on that stage, she hit some really big shots for us and, and made some nice plays. And then Maddie Cox, 
you know, uh, we put her on Jackson, and she might have done as good a job as anybody. Uh, I thought she, Maddie's just so hard, just so smart. You tell her something one time, she's going to go out there and execute it. Uh, just you know, and then the three she hit at the end of the half was unbelievable. So, yeah, I'm excited about them, and uh, you know, again, they we wouldn't be here without them. And uh, again, it's it's been fun to watch them grow up, kind of in front of our eyes. Okay, let's get Aaron, and then we'll get you. Wes, I was asking the players about the idea of, you know, the game's getting tighter and tighter. It goes from 20 down all the way down to two. Yeah. And they, like they mentioned, the South Carolina game, that they had already right. seen them do something yeah. very recently. Yeah. Kind of what was going through your mind in those stretches and sort of the message you were trying to give them before as I kind of got a couple of those buckets that gave you all yeah. some space again? Well, I mean, again, you know, I, I coach pretty much the same way, you know, again, no matter what's going on. And, uh, you know, I got a little disappointed. We took an early shot. That one possession took an early three. Uh, we got to we got to recognize, you know, time and score a little bit. But um, yeah, I mean, just we we went through a stretch. We didn't hit shots. I mean, quite honestly, we just had a hard time hitting some shots. And uh, but you know, they hung in there, kept their heads up, and then hit some big ones when we had to have it. You know, the bench kind of recommended we run that one play, set play, and. Uh, I think Isaiah came behind uh, the stagger screen and hit the big three. Um, you know, so again, it was just a matter of time, hopefully, that we'd hit a shot and get the momentum back. And, um, you know, again, I think in the first quarter we gave up, what, 23 points, uh, did a much better job the next two. You know, again, we owned the second quarter, they owned the third quarter, and uh, the bookends were pretty pretty even, but uh, it's a game of runs, and I'm just proud of them for keeping their heads up. They could have real easily uh, got let the pressure get to them, and and no doubt the crowd's a big plus. I mean, let's face it, playing here at home, that's why all year long I'm so stressed out because I know every game matters so much if you're trying to be a top 16 seed and get the host. And uh, you know they've worked their tails off all year to to get that. A uh, little advantage, and uh, just proud of them for uh, cashing in on it. Let's go here, and then we'll go one back for the next one. Um, you briefly mentioned that we held Tennessee. I think it was under 10 points in the second quarter. But in the first quarter, they were shooting very well from oh, the field. Yeah. Yeah. So what went in through your mind in between quarters to make those defensive changes? Well, we did make a, we did make a matchup change, and we went small on Jackson, which – I mean, what a player. You know, they're saying she'll be second or third pick in the draft, and it's easy to see why. She's a matchup nightmare. If you put size on her, she's going to step out, shoot the three, or take you off the bounce. If you go small, she's going to go inside and post you up, and the coaches there do a great job of recognizing the matchup and, and exploiting it. So, But I thought Madison Hayes in the second quarter did a really nice job, and and then I agree when uh, we put Maddie Cox in there, you know, the assistants were saying, you know, we may want to shift it a little. And I said, no, let's give her a chance. And and I think her length helped a little bit, maybe on a couple of little jumpers. So, um, again, uh, just, you know, they're, they're a very talented team. You know, Key was killing us on the block, burying us down there. And then, like I said, Jackson, what can you say about her? You just hope that uh, maybe she misses a couple. Okay, we're going to stay on the aisle. Yeah, talking about Jackson going top three in the WNBA draft, um, Cameron Brink up next also projected to go top three. Uh, two very different players, but what is it like to prepare for two very uh, high-profile athletes back-to-back? -back? I'll be honest with you. I hadn't done a whole lot on Stanford yet, so I can't tell you much. I did watch the game on TV last night, but but obviously we've had a coach, an assistant that's been preparing for Stanford in case we face them. So as soon as we're done and I get out of here, I'll – get a computer with a bunch of clips on it, and we'll start uh, going over the scout. Um, it is good to be able to catch our breath a little bit. And uh, obviously, Tara Vanderveer, Hall of Fame coach, winningest coach in the country, and uh, Stanford, obviously a program with a lot of legacy. So, But at the same time, hey, this time of year, uh, you just got to hope, like I said, hope you can match up with her a little bit, slow her down some, and and hope we get hot. You know, I thought we shot the heck out of it in the first half, and uh, we just need to try to, you know, keep that going a little more consistently. But, uh, yeah, it's scary, you know, no doubt, to have her sitting there next. But, hey, I'm glad we got the problem, you know. Okay, stay on the aisle there. Uh, speaking of Stanford, 
they will be joining the ACC next year, and so is this kind of like a preview matchup? So heading into watching film, is that a little bit on your mind, do you think? Well, we're going to see if we can make this count as our game out there for next year, and since we're going out on the West Coast, so we'll let you know how that goes. But, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, it's again, it's great for our conference. Uh, it's exciting, and, um, you know, with all the shuffling around of teams and all that, you know, you got to stay up with the times. And so I'm excited about those three teams coming in. And uh, I was hoping I was going to dodge Cameron Brinks, but uh, I guess we'll get to see her. I know she's declared she's leaving, but uh, uh, I guess we'll get a peek at her. Any other questions for Coach? All right, Coach, thank you very thank much. You Congratulations. Good luck in here. Portland. Uh, the Tennessee – Session should be starting within five minutes. When Tennessee's press conference begins, that's when their locker room will be open.